Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some cool photos using Photofunia Windows 10 app. So I've been experimenting with some Windows 10 apps. I hardly ever use them to be fair. So I thought I'd have a little experiment and have a look on the Microsoft Store and see what's good there. And I found a few apps in here that are pretty useful. So we'll download this one called Photofunia. So if we click on it, and we'll, we'll launch it. Basically, I've already installed this before. So you just click, go here and click on the install button and it will download and install the app. I'm going to click on launch and it's going to load up the application. So once the application has been installed, you can load it up and you can click on these sections here and build like some nice little photograph examples um, from maybe photographs that you've taken of yourself or your friends or family, or you can use some stock images. So in this example, what I'll do is um, close this Let's just open up the web browser and I'm going to download three images that we can use in this example. So I'm going to go to Unsplash. I'll put links to all of these images in the YouTube description and we'll download these three pictures as test example images just to test out this app and we can see how it works. So let's download all three of these and uh, you can use your own photographs. You can download these ones or download other ones from Unsplash. It's entirely your choice. So we just drag and drop these three into here and we just got these images in a folder so let's go and open up the app again and i'm going to click on this one here new york at night let's click on that and it asked me to upload three images here so i'll click on this one and choose photo and we'll go to my desktop here let's go to this pc to my desktop and we'll go to here and we'll select this first image and it might ask you to crop the image a bit because it's just not the right sort of size for um, the image that you're going to be working with but something let's say around here probably crop it around here something like this and we'll click done then we'll select the next image choose photo and we've got this one here and we'll just accept it as it is and this one here choose photo and we'll click on this one and maybe we'll crop this one a little bit like uh, something like this and let's click ok and then click go here once you click the go button, it's going to upload the images and then it's going to create this artwork for you. So it's really a quick way to create some maybe good social media posts. Maybe you want to share these with your friends on WhatsApp or whatever, on your Facebook page. You can do a lot of things in here just to create some, you know, some nice sort of artwork, even if it's just for business, social media or just on your personal. Maybe it's from a holiday. Maybe you went to New York and you can put your images there and it'll be quite, quite a nice fun thing to do, right? So what you can do now is click on these three little buttons here and then click on choose size and select regular, large or small. If you happen to click large, it will download a larger version of that image. And we'll click here again and click save. And we'll save this to this same folder here. Let's just call it uh, example-01. Let's click the save button. We'll go back here. And what we can do is click the back button here as well. And you've got all these different categories. So you've got photography and you've got all these different photography styles. There's quite a lot of very styles in here and different ones I'm not, i think there's a paid option as well i'm not quite sure but we need to probably look at that seems like it might support some sort of video stuff as well so let's try out one of these uh, banksy shredder so maybe this one will be pretty cool let's try this one out let's click on it i'm not sure if you have to pay for this one but let's try it um let's click on the photo and choose photo and we'll click this one and we'll go ahead and click done and um Let's see. It's got some examples in here. Stencil, I'm not sure what that is. So I'm going to leave that off and click go. This might take a little bit of time to process because I think it's creating a video clip possibly or maybe a GIF animation. So let's just let this finish. Okay, it looks like it's probably going to be a GIF animation, but that could be quite fun to maybe share via WhatsApp or social media, or maybe you've done some sort of event and you want to have something like this Banksy thing getting shredded, right? It's quite a famous thing. So we'll select large on this one as well. It might be quite a large file. I think this might be, end up being a GIF animation. It might be an MP4, probably a GIF, I reckon. So we'll see. So let's click here and we'll click uh, save and we'll save this as it's a GIF animation. Let's save this as example two, and maybe we'll create one more. So let's go back. Let's go back here, and we'll go back one more time. And you've got so many different options here. 
you can click show all and I guess it will show you all the different categories at the top here let's try professional let's see what professional shows us um, you can scroll to the side there's quite funny ones in here as well I think it'd be good to use on like a personal level as well you can get some funny ones like spaceman and stuff like that maybe an FBI wallet that'd be quite interesting um, let's do what's galleries let's do galleries this might be pretty cool this one's quite interesting so let's select this one let's try this one out choose photo I'm using the same images over and over but obviously you can go and upload whatever images you want just save them to a directory and you can just upload them as you as you see fit and we'll try these three here and let's click go And then we've got the three images there so it's doing a pretty good job to be fair for the speed that it's doing it at so we'll click here large and we'll click here and save it and we'll call this example three and then we've got three different examples there let's click the back button we'll close this down we'll open up the folder and inside here we've got example two one two and three let's have a look at example one if i double click and zoom in you can see it ain't pixelating too much it's pretty high res image and that would be more than suitable for some sort of social media so maybe if you did a brochure or a magazine or you've got some issues or uh, you know some sort of magazine you can put the magazine covers here maybe these are people that work in your company maybe these are your kids or your family or you're on holiday or something like this that would be pretty cool uh, the Banksy one I don't know how you would use that but you can see the GIF animation playing here this is quite a famous image or quite a famous uh, thing like with this shredding image so people will probably recognize that and understand what it's about um, I'm not sure how you would use it but you know you can go and have a little bit of fun maybe you could write some sort of message in there um, and share that via social media right and have it being shredded away maybe I don't know you have to think about it and then this one here again it's quite high res it's pretty good quality and um, that could have been something to do with your business or something on a personal right it's just a nice little way of sharing something via facebook or whatsapp social media you could use these on your website i guess if you want it's entirely your choice so i'll leave you to go and experiment with this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial